Welcome back to Roker on the Road. We got a little chocolate fact for you. Did you know that of people preferring chocolate, over half of them like dark chocolate over milk chocolate? But how many of those people would give up a big time, high paying professional job in show business to make chocolate? Susie Norris did. She used to be a big time Hollywood producer, but she chucked it all for the dream of making the sweet stuff. And now she does it on both coasts, Los Angeles and in the mountains of Massachusetts. Her company, it's called Ms. Shell's Chocolate. And when you see what she does with the dark stuff, you'll be shell shocked. Going from designer suits and high powered meetings to messy aprons and dirty hands may be a tough choice for a lot of people, but not for Susie Norris. Making the switch from television exec to pastry chef was really quite simple. When I thought about the logical opportunities for me to be, uh, have my own production company or start a consulting business, I realized I didn't want to do any of those things. All I wanted to do was make desserts. Susie's television career spanned 18 years out in Los Angeles. She juggled that with being a wife and a mom. But the power of chocolate was too strong. I wanted to do something that I loved. And when I asked myself, what do I really love? It was chocolate and desserts. And uh, I feel like it's a, a dream come true that I get to do them every day. Every day for almost two years now. It all started with a small sign placed at her children's school offering specialty birthday cakes. That led to a catering job, and she was off and running. Susie started a line of gourmet artisan chocolates, which are very different from what you and I buy in the grocery store. Handmade. These two things. Uh, it is um, a small batch production, uh, artistic presentation, and really moving away from the uniformity of mass production. She had her first product. Now all she needed was a name for her company. I knew I wanted a logo that I would never get sick of, and I never get sick of looking at a seashell. It's a classic dessert symbol. Then my husband said, call it Ms. Shell's Bakery, and so I did. Ms. Shell is based in Los Angeles. Susie now has several product lines, but in the summer, she moves the chocolates, which she calls happy chocolates, east to the beautiful serenity of the Berkshires in Massachusetts. Here, she works in her family kitchen, in this rambling home built in the 1700s. And watching her melting and molding her thick, dark elixir, you can tell Susie is enjoying herself. Artisan chocolatiers uh, can change things. They can use different chocolates together. They can uh, blend their flavors uh, in a unique way. And artisan chocolate making uh, brings in these wonderful fresh ingredients that makes a, a great product even better. Check out this Massachusetts maple which starts with carefully tempered melted chocolate. Right now we've melted it. It is around 110. Now we need to cool it. We will um, use ice water and stir it. Putting it in the, in the refrigerator or the uh, freezer is too cold, too fast. Uh, and this is a gentle way of doing it. Once the temperature's right, the process moves quickly. And I take this mold. Uh, this is a European mold and I have put white chocolate inside um, for a little uh, leaf pattern. So we're gonna line that with dark chocolate and then put filling inside of that. The chocolate coats the sides, then it's flip and drip, neaten it up a bit, and it's ready for the freezer to harden. About five minutes later, it's time for the filling, and it'll have your taste buds sitting up and begging for more. Made up of a vanilla bean fondant, crystallized sugar, corn syrup, and cream, a bit of local maple syrup, and chopped up maple sugar peanuts, it's then put into the mold. Another layer of chocolate is added and into the freezer to harden. Voila! Massachusetts maples. Now don't get those confused with another favorite, these sake chakis. Which is uh, a, ch a dark chocolate that has uh, a sake flavored ganache inside. And uh, I use the same chocolate coverture for both of those, but they'll be molded differently and flavored differently, so they'll be quite different. During the summer, most of Susie's business is done at the local farmers markets outside of Great Barrington, where her three kids and neighbors help with the setup and the selling. 10, 15, 16, 17, and then I owe you 50 cents. From gift baskets to birthday cakes, handmade chocolates to dessert catering. 
it's all about one thing for Susie. I realize the power of chocolate, that people who love it, love it so much. Hey, what's not to love when it's all built on chocolate? Susie gets a lot of custom orders through her website. So in case you're wondering what her two favorite flavors are, Massachusetts maple and the vanilla bean with crushed cocoa beans.